show that this integral uh, improper integral from minus infinity to infinity e minus y squared over 2 dy turns out to be root 2 pi by using two equations 9 5 and 9 2 a okay uh, let's start with 9 2 a uh, first of all uh, I could let's actually why don't I just uh, cut and paste these equations here first uh, and then I will uh, show you how to use them to solve uh, uh, the first part uh, so let me do that quickly so uh, this is 9 to a here And let's bring 9.5 as well. This is okay so I do have an integral that runs from minus infinity to infinity so what I could do is I could split it into two separate integrals so, sorry for the delay here sometimes the screen I guess it's taking too much memory to copy and paste these uh, uh, perceivably colored images from the book okay so the, so now I'm doing uh, let me start with part a here okay so my integral I could rewrite it as minus infinity uh, I'm not sure why it's erasing my lines here but it's okay it doesn't matter minus infinity plus infinity e to the minus uh, uh, e to the minus y squared over 2 dy okay I could rewrite this I could split it into different integrals it's an area under a curve so I could just you know uh, split it up into two separate areas that uh, end and start at the same point and uh, the total area would equal to the sum of the two areas so I can go from minus infinity to zero and the reason I chose zero is because I have zero here in equation 9 5 so minus infinity to zero e to the minus y squared over 2 dy plus the integral from 0 to plus infinity e to the minus y squared over 2 dy okay um, now uh, in my case if I were uh, if I were to use 9.2a on the first integral so uh, so let's use this on this notice that my x is 0 correct because that's the upper bound of the integral here so x is 0 and I have the same exact thing I have minus t squared over 2 dt and I have minus y squared over 2 dy so those integrals are identical okay uh, except with x being 0 of course so if I plug uh, that in I would get so the answer for this would be 1 half plus 1 half earth of zero okay um, now uh, continuing on to the uh, second one uh, on the second one I have zero to infinity so I'm gonna use uh, okay now keep in mind that uh, I do have a square root 2 pi that I didn't account for yet uh, because uh, I don't have 1 over square root of 2 pi here so technically this whole expression in red here is multiplied by this square root 2 of pi yeah uh, so times square root 2 pi
okay we're done with the red one now w w by the way what's earth of zero let's talk about that so the definition of an earth function right uh, uh, earth let me do this here on the side earth of zero well earth of x is equal to the integral this is uh, from the definition of the error function right in your book uh, is just uh, 2 over square root pi and then the integral goes from 0 to x e to the minus t squared dt now notice that if x is 0 right earth of 0 uh, this will be 2 over square root pi 0 to 0 and since the upper bound is the same as the lower bound there is no area and this would equal to zero so this guy will go away as a result okay so all I have left is square root 2 pi over 2 okay now let's consider this guy here let me take this guy to the side so 0 to infinity uh, e to the minus y squared over 2 dy and I'm gonna deal with it using equation 9 5 here except the fact that equation 9 5 accounts for e to the minus t squared not minus t squared over 2 so I do have to do a substitution here so I could rewrite this as minus I could rewrite this as minus y over square root 2 squared because if I square this I just get y squared over 2 dy and then I could use the substitution uh, I could say let t to make it look like the above one is equal y over square root y differentiate and plug in right now notice that the bounds aren't going to change because if y is 0 t is 0 and if y is infinity t is infinity because they're directly proportional they're linear with a positive slope so they behave the same way on a graph so therefore the bounds don't change okay so dt would be 1 over root 2 dy and if I multiply both sides by root 2, I get root 2 dt equals dy. And now, of course, I could replace the dy with root 2 dt. Okay, so doing so, this will be 0 to infinity e. And since this is t now, this became minus t squared. You can put the root 2 outside dt. <laughs> and now I have exactly equation 9 5 right which turned out to be 1 which turned out to be 1 except that it's multiplied by the factor here because I don't have 2 over root pi I'm just evaluating 0 to infinity e to the minus t squared dt so I would multiply by root pi over 2 times root pi over 2 And if I divide by root 2, I get root pi. So I'm trying to evaluate. Uh, no, that's it. Root pi over 2. Uh, now uh, I would have to multiply by root 2 because, again, this root 2 wasn't in the expression here. Right? So. Uh, So in other words, this by itself is equal to 1 times root pi over 2, except root 2. Oh, I have to divide by root 2. I apologize. So, so that means 0 to infinity e to the minus t squared dt would have to equal to root pi over 2 root 2. Okay, so uh, we have this. And we have the root 2 pi over 2. So uh, why don't we put them together and see what we get. So now then minus infinity to infinity e to the minus y squared over 2 dy would equal to uh, the first part the red part turned out to be 
root 2 pi, half times root 2 pi so half times root 2 pi plus the green part the in the green box which I evaluated here turned out to be root pi right now to make this the same as uh, so this was root pi over 2 root 2 right but I could multiply here by root 2 and here by root 2 so I can add the top uh, right so then this becomes uh, 2 pi over 2 plus now I could put them together root 2 pi over 2 times 2 is uh, one second here I think there's a mistake what was the answer uh, this is root pi over 2 Oh, I think there's been a mistake here actually for some reason uh, because I'm trying to evaluate 0 to infinity e minus y squared over 2 dy uh, now uh, this root 2 is supposed to be multiplied here not divided right because because the value of th the value of this is basically this and then there's the root 2 so this so the root 2 multiplies here right so uh, so this is not divided this is multiplied so there's a 2 here okay okay so let's fix that so the green part becomes uh, root I apologize for this for some reason I divided um, we said it's root 2 pi over 2 and clearly when you add these two you get the final result that the integral from minus infinity to infinity e to the minus y squared over 2 dy is equal to root 2 pi over 2 which is root 2 pi as it's as it should be so that concludes part a for this problem Okay, so for part B, it wants us to evaluate the same integral by reducing it to a gamma function and using equation 5-3. So let's do that. Um, do this here. Okay, so the integral is minus infinity to infinity e to the minus, oops, y squared over 2 dy e to the minus y squared over 2 dy okay um, okay so fair enough uh, let's see um, I know uh, that uh, the definition of the gamma function in general that's equation 3 1 in your book is 0 to infinity x of p minus 1 e to the minus x dx p is greater than 0 okay fair enough okay now uh, first of all notice that this guy here is an even function why because if I replace y with minus y I get the same exact thing e to the minus y squared over 2 would remain 
e to the minus y squared over 2 therefore it's an even function and hence I could rewrite this integral I'm trying to match the bounds for the for the definition of the gamma function 0 to infinity so since this is a symmetric integral on the y-axis uh, and since the integrand is an even function I could write this to be twice 0 to infinity e to the minus y squared over 2 dy okay uh, close I have the bounds the same but I still don't have the integrand the same so now to have the integrand the same uh, I'm gonna call this guy here the y squared over 2 so I can retain the minus sign here to be x okay so let x equal y squared over 2 this is a substitution we're gonna use and see if that gets us the same form inside the gamma function differentiate of course so dx will equal 2 over 2 cancels out we get y dy so that means dx right, over y equals dy so I replaced dy with dx over y but y from here I could solve this is y squared equal 2x so y would equal square root 2x okay so that means dx over square root 2x equal dy and so now I could replace this with this and let's see where that gets us so now our integral became 2 integral 0 to infinity e to the minus x times dx over let me bring the root 2 outside and I have here an x to the half right bring that up so this becomes 2 over root 2 0 to infinity x to the minus half e to the minus x dx okay now notice that the minus half is the same thing as half minus one right will give me minus half and then e to the minus x dx bingo I have the same exact form of a gamma function with P being equaling half P equal half e to the minus x x P minus 1 dx okay and so now that means this became 2 over root 2 and this whole thing here is just gamma of p gamma function of p and p is half so this becomes gamma of half right now uh, equation 5-3 it, the question says use equation 5-3. Equation 5-3 stipulates that gamma of half is equal to, we've derived this in a different question, square root pi. So replace that with this. So that means this becomes 2 over root 2 square root pi. right? And, uh, uh, you know, 2 over root 2 I could multiply by root 2 root 2 so this becomes 2 over 2 which cancels out square root 2 pi and uh, I have my answer so therefore the integral from minus infinity to infinity I've proved that the integral from minus infinity to infinity minus y squared over 2 dy eventually comes down to equal 2 square root pi which is the same exact answer we got using part a except here we did it using gamma functions there, there's plenty of ways to do this problem that does it